What's up guys, I'm Polly Popo. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. Um, today what I want to talk about is that new NPC keyboard that's going to be coming out. I will not be one of the first ones that have it, but in the long run, yeah, I want to get my hands on it. Just way I can kind of go over how the keys feel and everything like that because I bought an advanced 49 keyboard back in the day and if they're just using recycled keys from that failure of a project, I just hope that, you know, everybody's seen the pictures of, of Homeboy playing on the on the piano and uh, the 61 sitting in the background. It's because the piano has a certain feel to it. I'm going to show you guys these keys here in a minute. And uh, hopefully they don't put the, like I say, the old keys. Oh, we can use these keys on the new keyboard. It's a great idea, okay? It's a good business move, but um, for the customer, I don't know if that's going to be as slick or not so check this out the keyboard on the MPC for me personally I play keys the first instrument that I walked up to was a keyboard I turned on the power light and it was all over it was the only light that was on it was the power light and from there on out I figured out how to express myself through the keys I never had an MPC until I was near 20 and um, Man, it was just, I, I wish I would have grown up with one. But that being said, it's hard for me to play on the pads. Yeah, you can use pad perform and everything like that. But it's harder for me to play on the pads. It's, it's not a key. So I had to hook up the Advanced 49 keyboard to it. And I thought, well, you know, and it works really, really great. I still use it to this day. That's the MIDI keyboard that I use. But when I go to teach a class or something, I have to bring my MPC Live and my keyboard. But to have that whole setup get up like that, I think it'll be really, really dope. I hope the pads aren't going to be smaller, which most likely, like the MPC One, the pads are, I heard are a little bit smaller than on the MPC Live. I mean, there's nothing like walking into a music shop with your MPC Live and just sampling your your music. Um, I don't know if you remember the video where I had the Korg Mini Log, and um, let me show you this here real quick. The Korg Mini Log right here. So. What I did, I took the keys right off of it because I was using it with my MPC in my Advanced 49. So I didn't need the keyboard part of it. And then about a year later, they come out with a black Korg uh, monologue or something like that. And this thing's really, really dope. You can go in here and you can get your sounds and do all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I use it like a plugin. This is one of my MIDI plugins. I go audio out into my mixer out of my mixer back into my MPC live everything in the studio goes into here uh, so I can chop it up I've learned how to chop things up on here uh, very efficiently but to be able to play I have to use this keyboard right over here the advanced 49 keyboard this is the one I use and it came with the loom and all that and we paid for it and like I'm saying, dude, the keys, they're semi-weighted. They're the same keys, I believe, that you're going to be getting on the, uh, this is the Advanced 49, okay? So I would not be surprised if these are the same keys. And they, they're no Moog keys, okay? I, I play keys, so I can tell you about different uh, texture of keys. They're not bad, but hopefully they're a little bit better. But I'm almost going to guarantee they're going to be the same crap but i'll take it i'll take it as far as the mpcx it's always going to be the king um sitting next to the keyboard like that man you can see the q links and everything map out you have total control me personally i think the tuner is going to be a hit because all of these modules here all of them have to be in tune and if they're slightly off it's like having a guitar string that it's, it's just gonna sound like crap no matter what you do they all have to be in tune and I use this module right here to do it so they're the MPC with the update they're giving you a $500 module that does all of this stuff right here so I really really think that that's cool it's gonna be big for me also because I like to play guitar I play guitar and I've never really been able to hook it up to the MPC because I just don't have a freaking tuner for that stuff you know, I have tons of other keyboards. Like these keys on this keyboard right here are way far superior than the keys that are on um, the freaking 
advanced over here. It's not a bad thing. It's not at all. I just highly doubt that they're going to come out and throw Moog keys on there like that. But for that price, you know, I mean, whatever it is, they can ask for it. Um, as far as the uh, memory and everything like that, it's probably going to be the same thing. I don't really care. I'm just saying if you're in the keys, this is going to bring a whole new realm of people into this workflow here. But me personally, I, I'm glad I have the live too. But I would also like that so I could not have to have wires connected. Everything would just be right there, perfect for a keyboard player like myself. Now, as far as being able to put your own sounds into the plugins and being able to do things like that, I don't know when they're going to allow you to do that. Like TubeSense sounds, you can make them and save them as TubeSense, but I can't bring a sound that I made on my guitar and throw it into TubeSense and use the reverb and delay. I don't know if they're different than the effects or whatever. It's just to be able to use that would be really, really cool for me. Um, I spent a lot of time yesterday watching some really, really cool dudes. I watched Av on uh, uh, his live stream showing people make beats. Man, I heard beats for three hours that most of them are probably made on an MPC. I don't know what they're made on, but they were all really, really awesome. And uh, then I saw Sight at the end of the night. It was like, well, it was like 12 o'clock at night. And uh, him and dude were on, and we actually chopped it up for a minute. It was dope talking about things that Akai users want, like the detachable screen and all that, tablets. And, you know, right now, if I take a USB cable and plug my tablet into it, it'll let me access the hard drive on my tablet. It will. You can drag the pictures and do all the plugins and everything like that, how I showed you that you can take your plugins and make your own pictures because the folders with the pictures are there you just swap them out photoshop them and then put them back in your mpc and they come out looking like this keep in mind i only did this with a couple of them but you get menu and then program edit and you know i have my own pictures on here you know no 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 joke and, and that's how you do it um you plug in your tablet usb this is i still got the plastic on here Right, it's, it's in there. But anyway, you can do it to all of the pictures or whatever that's on your plugins, but you can't like run when you can't run the MPC software on the tablet yet and blah 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 yada. But uh, little by little guys, I'm just really excited to see that and um in no way, shape or form do what I expect a Kai to reach out and I wouldn't I don't think I would even be able to do something like that because I like to voice my own opinion. I bought everything in here, and like I say, I, 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 I talk about certain things, and there's certain things that I don't talk about, and a lot of it is MPC because I believe in the product. Uh, I've used a lot of crap gear, but um, I just think it's really, really cool. I like to see how many new people are going to be coming to um, the Akai world for this, and um, yeah, I'm just excited to see it. Man, I would love to get my hands on one. If anybody's around St. Louis that gets one, let me know. And uh, I'm going to work really, really hard to try to get my hands on one. And just because I'm a keyboard player, man, that's like... I've learned how to use this box, but I always knew how to play keys. I, and I'm excited about it because... I mean, I'll probably still plug my guitars and everything into my, my live... I, I, I don't think that I would plug my guitars uh, into my, uh, it's going to be weird. I wouldn't plug my guitar into my keyboard MPC, into the MPC keys. I wouldn't do that. I would plug it into my MPC Live for chops and stuff like that. But as far as making melodies and having a one-piece gear, if you have nothing right now, might be something to consider other than the fact that you can buy any USB keyboard out there or any keyboard like the ones that I show you can look and buy any keyboard out there and uh, hook it up USB to one of these and probably still be cheaper but let me touch on one fact here real quick um, the thing is uh, if you've seen uh, a Miko Labs keyboard or a Nico Miko. I, I don't know what they're this is one of those labs keyboards, right? Um, I've seen the MPC running The software running on one of those. It's got 16 pads um, like I said if Akai wants to 
uh, really, really come out swinging, they need to look at some of their other competitors other than machine because they might have stuff uh, tucked away, but other companies do too, man. I'm telling you. Um, if Roland uh, were to come out with another MV, um, it would slaughter this thing. And they know all the weak points. I don't know. We do. I know we definitely do. Uh, Roland, if you ever decide to do that, I would definitely love to jump on one of them MVs. Even if you make it into keyboard. Um, other than that, guys, I'm ranting on enough. I just wanted to shoot a video, make sure the audio was working and everything before I get back to my work week. If you have any questions, leave them here, and uh, I would... I will definitely, uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to answer them, or I'll try to leave a link for you. Right on, I'm Polly Popo, and uh, I hope that this little ramble touched base with somebody somehow. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to say, like, I think that it's cool, but I don't think that I would, like I say, I, don't, I wouldn't plug my guitars into it or anything like that. But I could be wrong. And then as far as, like, the auto sample thing, is that going to mess up, like, the sound pack designing? Like, do I not have to sample every sound if I can just make a key group with one sound and spread it across the keys? Um, it's going to change a lot of things because that would save a whole lot of RAM. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see, guys. And I'll probably see you uh, a little later. I'm probably going to take the week off, uh, have a little me time. But, uh, yeah, if I happen to find one of these keyboards, I'll definitely be on here letting you know. I'll see you on the update. Later, guys.